Hi, this is my uh, second blog and I'm going to do Mars Bar Crackle Cake. It's a recipe that I do over and over and over again, generally for children, but it's the adults that really, really enjoy it. Um, for these crackle cakes, you need a chocolate bar, which I don't know if I'm allowed to say Mars Bars, but basically a nougat caramel chocolate covered bar, which, in, <laughs> which to me means a Mars Bar. And um, I'm going to use eight Mars bars for this recipe. Now, I've tried to make them in the microwave, but it doesn't really work. So um, what you need is a nice large pan like this. Maybe not as big as this, but you basically we're trying to melt the Mars bars, okay? And then, um, so they melt more quickly and more evenly, what we need to do is need to cut them. And I just cut them in half lengthways and then into small pieces. And the piece size is about that big, if you can see. So they're like little bite-sized pieces. And the only reason I'm doing that is, as I say, so they'll melt more quickly. So they go into a pan. And then I'm going to add some butter. Now, I guess the amount of butter, so I will weigh it for you, okay? Because obviously you need a proper recipe. But the key thing to this recipe is that you uh, melt the Mars bars slowly, okay? And I've got rice uh, snaps, rice krispies as well. Um, and that's the only three ingredients that you need. They're really straightforward. So, okay, so I've chopped all my Mars bars up and I'm going to just stick them in the pan. And I'll weigh the butter, okay? So let me guess the amount and then I'll weigh it so that you know. It's only because I make these so often. That I kind of know how much butter I would normally use. Okay, how much is that? That's 100 grams of butter for eight Mars bars. If you only wanted to do four Mars bars, you'd use 50 grams of butter and so on. Okay, I'm going to put this on the heat, on a low heat and melt it. We're nearly there. It's not going to go completely liquid. It's still going to have those sort of lumps of nougat in. But we'll just give it a little while longer. And the heat is really low because otherwise it's just not going to work. So just be patient. Okay, uh, so in here we've got our eight Mars bars, we've got 100 grams of butter, and now we're going to add our crackle, uh, our crispies, or rice snaps, as these ones are called. This is 50 grams, although it looks rather a lot. I'm going to add 50 grams first of all. I would like to think I can add 100 grams, because with this amount of Mars bars, I want to make lots of crackle cakes, otherwise it's quite expensive. So 50 grams first, and we'll be adding more. But 50 grams at a time is probably a good amount to add. These are so good to make with children, but remember this is a hot pan. So you've got to be really careful, okay? So this is a total of 100 grams. We've added 50. I'll add half of these. So for the mathematicians at home, that's 75 grams. We might not be able to add any more. The thing is, if you add too many cr uh, crispies or crackles, um, it's never going to set. I've made that mistake before trying to make it go a bit further and it just has nothing to stick to. So no matter how long you leave it in the fridge, it just falls apart. And I'm, I think 75 grams is the way to go because this looks just right, okay? I've also added broken up digested biscuits and dried cherries in the past and that's really, really nice. But this classic recipe, I just love it. It's just really nice, okay? So we've added enough of those. They'll do for breakfast. Now you need to put it in... Um, a container big enough to hold the crispies. You can use anything like uh, so any oven proof dish that you might have, a baking tray, anything that's got sides to it, a round or square, whatever you like. But my mum has sort of uh, given me loads of silicone products which are really bendy and I'm going to try it out because I'm quite interested to see. I shouldn't need to line it or put butter in it or anything. If it was like a metal baking tray that you were using, put cling film in it because um, then you can lift out the cling film, do double thickness plastic wrap cling film um, and then when it's set in the fridge it will lift out quite easily and you can peel it off. But for this, silicon they say you don't need to grease or line it, so let's see if this works. So I've just tipped it all, all out and then I'm just going to push it into my little silicon tray. I need to, this needs to go in the fridge for about I would say an hour because you want it to set, okay? You could put it in little paper cases. You've probably seen crackle cakes done like that where you just put a spoonful into little paper cases and that's nice as well. Especially at Easter, 
because you can put a little stick on the top and it makes a bird's nest. There you go. These really are del absolutely delicious. I can't tell you, they're so much nicer than the ones made with just normal melted chocolate. Right, that's it. In the fridge for an hour and then we'll have a look at them. It's been an hour, um, the crackle cakes have been in the fridge and now hopefully this silicon uh, container will allow me to turn them out without um, them sticking if they've done their job. So hopefully you can see from that angle, but I've turned it upside down, give it a wiggle. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, it just makes one great big slab like this and I tend to cut it into really small bite sized squares. So I've got a nice sharp knife and it's set. Because obviously all the caramel in it makes it really chewy. So I'll cut it into small squares like this. And um, I've put the um, recipe on the internet, but if you remember it was 8 Mars bars, 100 grams of butter, 75 grams of Rice Krispies, and we just melted the ingredients, added the crispies, stirred really well and left it for an hour in the refrigerator. And they'll keep for a couple, well, I say they'll keep for a couple of days, I doubt it, because they are so popular, and they're great for children and adults alike. There we go. My beautiful Mars Bar Crackle Cakes, I hope you enjoy them, let me know what you think. Mm. They're good. Mm.